Greetings YouTube and welcome to the Blue Corner and as you can tell here I'm doing a Carter Vanguard video. It's going to be on the new trial deck that just came out for the Aqua Force Clan. This is the G support that will be giving them a new stride, a new stride break, plus their Amber Clone and all kinds of fun stuff that will make the deck a bit better. Um, it won't be truly competitive though until the next set comes out when we get Lambros and some of the other cards in the set. But for now though it's a nice boost to some of the other decks. I'm going to be experimenting with some builds to see what's the best way to make use of Thabas here. And I'm going to be going over what's inside one of these things, showing you guys the cards, and just pointing out the things that come with the new trial decks. I wasn't able to do this with the last one, so this is a bit overdue. Um, <clears throat> the thing to note about the new trial decks is that instead of just getting one of every good card, like one of this guy and one of like the other foil cards, you get two copies. One foil and one common version, so... All you really need to do to like basically have four of everything is to buy two trial decks. You also get two perfect guards in here, so it's a nice start for beginner players. So we've got the deck, Let's see what we have inside. Should be the new playmat in the updated rule book. And the you know, notable thing about the playmat is that. It shows us the new field, and in particular, the new drop zone, damage zone, and the G zone. It's on the other side of this thing. It tells you how to play around the deck. And it's an advertisement for Soaring Ascent of Gale and Blossom coming out on May 22nd. Which is going to be big. This set is going to be ridiculous, just because of what it brings to the table. We're going to be seeing a huge shift in the format where... Uh, Vanguard-centric decks won't be as prominent. Instead, we'll be seeing more rearguard-based decks, such as Aqua Force here, and Neo... Uh, not Neo Nectar. What is it? Great Nature. Like, those two decks are going to be really strong, in addition to the boosts that Royal Paladin gets. As far as this starter's guide, uh, let's see, Ride and Stride, a stronger avatar to win in battle. Yeah, we already know about this stuff, so let's crack this thing open, shall we? Just gotta find a thing on the side that lets me open this thing, and it should be here. Come on. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, another thing about this trial deck to note is that Bushy Road English kinda made some mistakes in printing, and as such, some of the cards have immediately been errated on their website. I'll point out the cards that need the errata fix. And God damn. Oh, well, that's great. I just scratched the back of the card. That's wonderful. One of these days, I will do a box opening that doesn't involve me screwing up on these things. Anyway, so we get two copies of the cover card, one who surpasses the storm, Thabas. And he has two abilities. First one is Generation Break 2, which is when this unit attacks the Vanguard, if it's the fourth battle or more of that turn, until the end of the battle, he gets an additional crit, and your opponent cannot call grade twos from the and grade zeros from the hand to Guardian. So he becomes a Silent Tom after fourth battle or more, which is actually a pretty good endgame skill. And then his Stride Break skill is during your turn when your G unit strides on top of this card, you get an additional skill. And this is where they made the first mistake. Uh, what they've written on here is when this unit attacks a Vanguard and hits the fourth battle or more of that turn, you choose three of your opponent's rear guards, and then your opponent chooses one of them and dies. The correct skill for Thabas is uh, when your unit attacks and it's the fourth battle or more, you get to kill something. Which is actually a lot better than what it is currently because the Vanguard being fourth battle or more, that's pretty common for Aqua Force, but if it's like you're going rear guard, rear guard, rear guard, and like another rear guard attacks, then that rear guard will proc this guy's retire skill. But more often than not, though, you're going to be getting that retire skill off of this. Pretty solid unit. Probably one of the best Aqua Force monsters to come since Maelstrom Reverse. And yeah, you get one common and one foil. I already ordered a couple more foils, so I'll have a fully foiled up version of this deck soon. Then you get two G units, Marine General of the Heavenly Skills, title War Dragon, Stride, <laughs> Tension Agons. And then his effect is when this unit attack hits the Vanguard, if it's the third battle or more that turn, you can draw a card and then. You can call a card from your hand to rear guard circle. So, that's pretty neat actually, where if he hits as a draw, and then you can call a unit to an open spot and swing. Although, to be perfectly honest, you're not going to be doing it that often. The on hit draw skill, though, that's nice. It just gives you some 
nice bonuses for being able to hit like many of these type of units. Free cards are free cards, and the call from your hand is completely optional. So you can just simply swing with this guy, hit, and then get the draw. And the other neat thing about this guy is he procs off of the third battle, not the fourth battle. So you can just simply go attack with Magnum Assault, restand, attack again, attack with this guy, he hits, you get the draw. Pretty nice. And solid card, which I'll be running up two to three copies of in the deck post G2, but for now I'll be running four. So, then we get to the rest of the deck, and you get three copies of your generic grade three of when this unit attacks, you can kind of ask one to have a gain 3k, 10k base, so it's not good. Two copies of Battery Boom Dragon. He has two abilities. First one is Generation Break 1. When this unit attacks the Vanguard, he becomes plus 6,000, so he's a 16 by himself. And he has a rear guard skill if at the end of the battle this unit attacks the one of your opponent's vanguard. If it's the first battle of your turn, you can choose one of your rear guards in the same column as this unit and swap places. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty simple of. You have uh, Savas on vanguard and you have this guy on rear guard. And you have another one of these guys on rear guard for some reason. You can go attack, it's the first battle, so you can swap, attack, uh, attack with this guy, attack with Savas, fourth battle or more, he gets a skill off. Or if you were scrolled on its title War Dragon, then that was the third battle, so you get that retire effect and you get this guy's effect afterwards. Or no, wait. I'm completely lunching here, but you get what I mean though. Like that's kinda how Aquaforce runs, but Battery Boom, eh, I'd rather just run some of the older cards like Maelstrom Reverse and Maelstrom Glory, but moving on to the rest of the deck, you get four grade twos that are ten K. Two of the Generation Break 1 10k attacker. Only applies though when you're attacking the Vanguard. If it attacks the rear guard, it's just 9. And two copies of what is arguably the best card in the deck, Magnum Assault. <clears throat> so, Aqua Force has, has had this card called Tidal Assault, where if it attacks the Vanguard, you can restand and attack again, but he loses 5,000 power. Magnum Assault's effect is when he attacks the Vanguard after Generation Break 1 and he is boosted. You can kind of ask one to restand him and he gains 2k, so it becomes an 11,000 and he can attack again. Now, this is where they made another error in printing in that if you actually can look closer, don't know if I can get the camera to focus in on this. Okay, notice how it says that you cannot, even if you do pay the cost, this ability cannot be used for the rest of the turn, but there's no cost on here. Yeah, they made an error. This is actually supposed to be Counter Blast 1, so yeah, that's been eroded as well. <clears throat> no free Magnum Assaults, sadly, but it's probably for the better. He would have been really stupid. And then finally, two Hydro Hammer Sailors. As special intercepts, normally I'd say these are bad, but when the next set drops, and, uh, Glory Maelstrom will be able to attack, and your opponent cannot gall guard with anything from hand, so a special intercepts might not be a bad idea. Yeah, I'm going to hang on to a couple. The third ones, you get... Four Kelpie Riders, which is the 8k. Um, pretty decent art, although I think I'd probably go with the Tier Knights. Four Railgun Assaults. This is the Generation Break 1 10k attacker, which is pretty solid. Two of uh, your Generation Break 1 10k booster. Actually, would not be that bad of a card to run in here, just so that Tidal Bore can swing for 36. Two Perfect Guards. Again, you're getting perfect guards in your child decks, and the Aquaforce perfect guards have been... Uh, last one they got was in BT-14. Granted, those ones aren't that expensive anymore. Three copies of the... When this unit is attacked, it gets plus 5,000 until the end of the battle. I'm going to be honest, these cards are awful. The 6k base is pretty bad. Yeah, it becomes 11k for the turn, but... Uh, you're... S no, no, there are better ones to run. And then finally, you get your starter, which is actually really, really, really good. His ability is Generation Break 1, put this unit into your soul, and choose one of your other rear guards until the end of the turn. That rear guard gains the Magnum Assault skill of when this unit attacks the Vanguard, you can restand and it gets plus 2k. So that's actually really solid. Uh, you can only get this effect off once per turn, though, but this is one of those starters that you would actually consider running a second copy of because it enables your multiple attacks. Then you get triggers as well. You get. For Bubble Bazooka Draco Kid, for Rainbow Sniper, the Draw Trigger, two Key Knight Seahorse Sailor, which is a stand, four Heal Triggers, 
And then four, or two copies of another stand trigger, one of which is a foil, because every child that gives you a foil trigger and one non-foil version of that. Uh, this one is Generation Break 1. At the end of the battle, as you attack, choose one of your other rear guards, and you can swap positions, and then shuffle those into your deck. I don't know how often this kind of skill is going to be helpful, and post BTG2, it's not that great, but if you're playing, say, Tetra Burst Dragon or Maelstrom Reverse, you're probably going to be running multiple stands anyway, at least until we get Savas, then it's a good endgame stand, because you can just stand a regard and then following turn, you can at least attack. Granted, he's not going to be doing anything, because he's 4,000, and one of the things I is that is bad about this deck is swinging for numbers that aren't going to do anything. You're just attacking for the sake of attacking. You sometimes have to do it in order to get your fourth attack off, but it's still you know, like this. Battery Boom Dragon is an amazing card in concept, but because he's 10,000, he's not going to be hitting most vanguards. He's just going to be swinging for 10 at an 11k, and he can't hit anything. First, Furthermore, he has to be for the first battle of the turn, but still, that is the contents of the Aqua Force Trial Deck. You're mainly getting it for... We'll just get out the key cards here. Yeah, these guys. These five cards are the real buys of the deck. And lucky for people in the States, these things only cost about 12 to 15 bucks. Unfortunately for Canada, they're 20. So I definitely do not really make my money back. Although Magnum Assault, I think, is going to go up eventually. He'll probably become a $10 card. This is currently a $3 card. At least I ordered one for 3 before he got his errata, and now that he's become better, it might not be 3 anymore, but... Um, yeah, it's a very good buy, and if you plan on building G Aqua Force, I would definitely recommend picking these up, as you get some really good cards. Magnum Assault is playable in everything. Maelstrom, Tetra Drive, Tetra Burst, Saba, uh, oh, Zaharia's... I can't think of an Aqua Force that does not benefit from a Tidal Assault that doesn't lose power. It's very good stuff. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and um, stay tuned for... Hopefully I can get build some decks that make use of these cards. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I've got Maelstrom, Maelstrom Glory, Maelstrom Reverse, Tetra Burst, Tetra Drive, Transcore, and Zaharias as grade 3 options to pair up with Thava's. Or I might even just go straight up uh, Maelstrom Reverse and just use the title bars as something to do when I can't uh, limit break. So, yeah, that's all I, got I can say about that. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and until the next time, this is Blue Star 9 jacking out.